Hello, everyone. It was a pretty uneventful day overall for the market, but I got to admit, it didn't look healthy. We closed lower than where we opened on the NASDAQ, and volume was above average, so that appears to be a churning day, and that's following the distribution day we saw on Friday. So, once again, not the best action. NYSE reversed well off of its intraday highs to close near its low of the days. Same with the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones and industrial average if I can ever type it in correctly you can see that overall we closed compared to where it was intraday at its highs the Russell 2000 very weak closing lower than where it opened and down for the day down 0.20 percent leading the way and then biotechnology stocks of course had the worst of the day down 8.82 percent and that hurt our portfolio because unfortunately in the last two sessions uh, a lot of biotech stocks, not a lot, but a lot considering the market we're in. Let's put it that way. Like this was a normal uptrend. I'd be like, okay, this is about a normal amount of long signals to get from a strong sector, but to get them in this market, pretty bad. And so let's go ahead and move over to those really quick. AFAM, you know, medical related stock, basically it failed below yesterday's low a day. So it, or Friday's low a day, excuse me. So it's a full sell because it's closing below the low a day of the pocket pivot point signal day. So AFAM is a full sell, so there's a failure there. PRTA, an immediate long this morning, an immediate fail. That's about as big a sign as you can get that the market isn't healthy. And there's others that I'm about ready to show you. But this is a big hint that I doubt we're going to be able to move much higher. The, the higher probability is obviously that we move low. But even if we don't break to new lows, I could see us, I've said it before, being choppy and volatile until the end of the year. I, I could easily see that last to get some kind of symmetry to the current overall market that we have because some patterns are looking pretty odd right now. But <clears throat> PRTA, immediate failure, above average volume, closed below the 50-day moving average. That's a 100% end-of-day sell. And then in a different kind of area, whoop, EDN, in a different kind of sector, the utility stock EDN, Big sell-off intraday on large trade before it reversed. Um, that's a 50% sell signal. I got a pretty bad fill, obviously, because a, a move below 1320 was where half of it went off. Got filled pretty low. Can't remember. It was like 1310 or something like that. But anyway, the reversal higher means it's still a hold. I was using these early September levels as final cut loss areas. But now I'm going to move that final cut loss area to right below today's low a day. But EDN, you know, another stock. <clears> that <throat> didn't have a solid session. And getting back to the biotechs, TSRO, 50% sell signal, closing below the 50-day moving average and above average volume. But it's closing at 55.14, above 54.91. So it's a hold on that respect. But my final cut loss is back here at 53.91. I will probably be, I know, I will be moving that up to 54.65. So 54.65 will be my final sell stop on TSRO. On the remaining position and vrx same thing 50 percent sell signal didn't close below this low which i was giving it all the way back here because remember i got shaken out on this day or i think it might have gotten shaken out the day before but the reversal this day obviously didn't allow me back in until here and of course like i said it was a high probability that these were fake out breakout signals and of course that's what so far they're proven to be they could chop higher so that's why i do these half sells but VRX failed half of my sell stops, which is below that low a day there. Did not close below there. So now the final sell stop gets raised to below today's low a day. But VRX, once again, another stock looking choppy. ANAC closing below the 50-day moving average. Um, volume was heavier than the day before, so combined it's above average. And that's a 50% sell signal with the move below 130.50. But my final sell stop is down here on the entire position, but... From the ads, I have a sell, obviously, 50% sell signal here, but I'm going to have another 50% go off if it goes below this level here, and then all of it will go off if it goes below that level there. So ANAC, 50% end-of-day sell signal. And then RDUS, another biotechnology stock, once again, new long signal failed. My final sell stop level was below this low a day, as that was kind of like the breakout day higher. 
might have 67 73 no it couldn't have been because i still have half my shares so that is where the low day probably was 63 74 looks right but obviously that's no longer the final sell stop level on the other half of the position half was taken off intraday on me but the last half a move below 66 10 will get me completely out of rdus and then the biggest sign that this market might be in trouble now remember i had some new long signals go up g you're going to see that we got an ad signal in another name um a u-haul for instance was up you know d hill was up so some names is basically just in that biotechnology sector but plpm which is a low price canceling stock with a very nice technical pattern you know not only did it give me an initial long signal but it gave me an ad signal or right there so you know it's giving me two different ad you know buy signals with a beautiful technical pattern and then today happens um once again, not normal in a strong market. Now, if this was an early, extremely bullish pattern setting up with that move there and then a follow through here, you would have never have seen a day like today. So the fact that today like today happens is another indication that this market is not ready to move higher. So that's a 50% sell signal. If you haven't sold any yet, a move below 285, one penny below the low a day, 50% um, sell signal. And then my final sell stop, I believe, is back here at 280. Um, so 280 would be my final sell stop, but a move up, I got taken out of a third. And now I'm splitting what I have left into, you know, 50, you know, 50, 50, obviously, whatever's left. And so that will be 284. And then the last at 280, I might've moved it up to 282. So if I did do that on accident on that final sell stop position, I want to go ahead and re-lower that to 280 because still look at how strong the green bop is. It's quite possible tomorrow it gaps higher and, you know, doesn't see 284 ever. So got to keep that in mind. But the fact that they act like that, not good. Another not good news. Um, I only flagged one potential new long position and there's no way I would ever buy something that looks like that. Arithmetic chart, you can see it's still pretty, you know, it needs a handle to be buyable or else you're buying a V-shaped cut pattern breakout. Extremely dangerous in a tape like this. So not a good position. So <clears throat> besides BNCN, the only good new position is AKBA. This, if you can find shares to short, would make an excellent short position. You want to get it around 1076, obviously, tomorrow morning. And you can either wait, see how it acts in the morning, because I like to short intraday, but I live on Maui, so it's not possible. And by that, I was really quick want to bring up. Look at CANF. Um, <laughs> Day trading, we were watching this thing in the morning on Thursday. Look at where it went to Friday. We knew when it got around 6, 7, we need to start looking for a reversal. And look where it's hit again, 365. So day trading stocks are still, you know, out there in, you know, force. And WGBS today, once again, a stock that about everybody was noticing around 240, heavily to, you know, 237 because that was a breakout, 240 in the chat rooms. And a lot of people trying to short it with a beautiful uptrend and the thing ran to 347 closing at 325 so once again you know um, and this stock was already moving so it was already on people's watch list obviously but the day trading is where most of the action is lake has been on our intraday watch list for three sessions in a row and in three sessions it's up 42 percent so short-term trading is still good efoi continues to sell off from our top but akba looks like the best current short sell setup obviously move above 1159 and you're out of all of it and if you're you know so um, that's it. So if it goes above 1159, you don't have to worry about it. That's your buy stop. But AKBA, I would expect it to fill that gap up and get back towards the sevens. Not the greatest shorts, obviously, but it's the best looking technical pattern. So besides that, the only official new long position is an ad signal in DOX, which is a former Canslim quality name that's still in my Canslim scan as I, as I keep them in there for a while for the ones that used to be but are no longer in there and then one day i eventually just randomly decide when to delete it but for now docs is in there so that's how it showed up above average volume move still has strong green bop pocket pivot point signal right at the 50-day moving average we know where we're wrong if it doesn't move higher immediately final sell stop 57.44 but dox because of this market it's only 0.5 percent of my account capital hey i would love for this to be a 20 percent signal but this isn't the type of market to be doing that. Cash is definitely still king.